School is back in session for one Onslow County High School after it was closed for 55 days. Governor Roy Cooper revisited Jacksonville to see how a school is recovering after Hurricane Florence. WNCT's Camilla Barco spoke with the governor today and has more. Good to see you again. Yeah, thank you. It was 43 days ago when Governor Roy Cooper initially visited White Oak High School after it was badly damaged due to Hurricane Florence. Last time I was here, there was a lot of debris. Walls and floors were being torn up, and I was having a hard time imagining that 43 days later the kids could be back at school. But Thursday morning, the Vikings continued to stand strong after a third of the school was unusable. White Oak High School is back at work. Students are back in class. They seem excited to be back to school. Um, it felt like the first day of school all over again because we'd only been back for 10 days before. Classes had been canceled for almost two months, leaving students like Daly Rayleary to focus on her studies somewhere else. There were pop-up sessions that we had at different churches and places around town. Governor Cooper says at least $10 million was allocated from the state to help Onslow County, including White Oak. I think there's a lot of promise ahead. We know there's a lot of work that has to be done. Currently, the cafeteria and science department are under construction, but until it opens, Governor Cooper says he is committed to covering the damages of Hurricane Florence. In Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.